I started basically a MySpace for no reason with a band uh, and I named it Cloud Nothings just because I thought it was like an okay name. I made a bunch of fake MySpace bands basically that were all just me recording. Um, I made a lot of them. <laughs> I don't know, I did it a lot. Um, and I thought they were all pretty good, so maybe other people didn't, I guess, until I made this one. And I put a couple songs on there, and then all of a sudden I got emails from just different blogs and things, and everything kind of snowballed from there. Yeah. We got a request to play a show in New York, actually, at Market Hotel, um, and I needed a band to play with me because I didn't have one, so I went and found a couple of friends, including TJ. It was just do you want to play bass in a band? And I was like, oh, okay. Which I've never even played bass in a band before, so. <laughs> and I guess it worked out, I don't know. The touring is really fun because, I don't know, you get to see a bunch of different places. You get to meet new people that you wouldn't meet being in Ohio or something. Um, so it's really enriching, I think, to do that. Um, what's surprising, at touring in America compared to touring in Europe, um, it seems that Europe takes, you know, there's a little more accommodating of musicians or something than in the United States. We sleep on a lot less floors, I guess. We drove we 40 drove from, straight hours we, one time <laughs> without sleeping or anything, going from Seattle back home to Cleveland. Yeah, the last show on the tour in Seattle. Mm -hmm. That was pretty bad. That was a grim time for us. Yeah, dark, <laughs> dark, dark time. Carpark is a DC based label um, and they got in touch with me after Chaz from Toro y Moi uh, played the guy who runs Carpark, one of our records or something. He liked it a lot and got in touch and just asked if we wanted to work with Carpark. And I knew that Chaz was on it and like, I kind of liked the label, so I said sure. <laughs> and that was that. Uh, the first record really just came about um, because that was stuff I just kind of randomly been making and releasing here and there for about a year and we compiled it all into one record and decided that was our first record, basically. Um, but the second record, I actually did take a couple weeks to really think about you know, writing stuff exclusively for that record and got that all done like really quick in a short span of time as opposed to over a whole year or anything. So it's more, I knew I was gonna make an album going into it than I did with the first one. I did just write a bunch of songs that were very different sounding than Cloud Nothing stuff, but we're gonna release it as a Cloud Nothing's record anyway. Just, because why not? No. <laughs> <laughs>